Hi, my name is David Hermit, and I'd like to share with you some of my thoughts about this passage from the Old Testament. The prophets that we read about in the Old Testament, they spoke about things that were about to happen in their lifetime, but they also spoke about things that were into the far distant future. They were able to speak in a way that was far beyond what is capable of a human being. For those who are skeptical about prophecy, I ask them to explain how is it possible for someone to write about Jesus' birth so many years in advance with so much detail? How is it possible for someone to be able to predict not only where he was going to be born, but also how he was going to die? This level of detail could not have been revealed to them in any other way other than by God. As we travel through life, God knows what's immediately in front of us, but also he knows what is in the distance. He knows about things that have yet to come. As we journey through life, many of us are looking for a guide, someone who can help us, someone who can give us direction on our journey. In the Old Testament, we looked to the prophets as being the universal guide for their people. Isaiah, Malachi and others were able to speak about what God had prepared for his people in advance. A little bit like a sat -nav, giving you directions along a journey, telling you where the destination is likely to be. These Old Testament prophets, some of them said things about the near future, while others spoke about a distant future as well. We can learn a lot by hearing what they had to say. Abraham is widely recognised as being the first prophet in the Bible. We read about Moses, Ezekiah, Jeremiah, David, Amos, Elisha and Daniel, as well as Isaiah. A long line of people who are able to hear directly from God and tell the people about what it was that God wanted to say. God told them all sorts of information. He told them warnings. He told them about divine things. And they wrote it down. They wrote it down for the benefit of future generations. Some of them were told about things that were gonna happen in the near future. Some were told of things that would be beyond their lifetime. Some, were able to speak about the end times, to speak about what will happen when we reach eternity. Isaiah chapter 40 reminds us that a prophet's role is to comfort God's people. The Old Testament prophets, like Isaiah, they spoke about what was to come in the future. Verse 2 says, Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. As we look in Isaiah, we see verse three, a voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight in the wilderness a highway for our God. This was the job that John the Baptist was going to fulfill. It was written many years before his birth. It's wonderful to know that God is interested in our lives. He's interested in the beginning, he's interested in the middle and the end. The advantage that God has is that he can see all of those events all at the same time. When the Bible talks about God having a plan for your lives, what it really means is God operates outside of time. Mm -hmm.